think so. But yeah, so I got her information and everything, and hopefully, I don't know that. Uh, I'm hoping that you know she found me interesting enough that we'll uh, you know keep in touch and continue talking and whatever. Hopefully, I don't know. We'll have to see. It's weird, like, ever since... I, I've completely changed the way I look in the last month or so. Like, I look vastly different uh, from what I did, you know. Uh, you know like I said, even a, even a month ago. And ever since I changed the way I look, the amount of... The amount of new people I've met has skyrocketed uh, significantly. It's really weird. Like, statistically significantly. So maybe it was a good move. After all. Because uh, I'm enjoying myself. But yeah, we were able to end these vassal rebellions yet again and uh, these guys this is all they have I guess they're independent but uh, not for long why do they have a why do the fake Mongolians have a huge army just sitting right there all right guys get up off your lazy asses We've got another war to fight Unfortunately, this one will probably be quick and dirty. I just want to, you know, have continuity here. And then we've got to retake this territory. And then we can finally have a fairly, you know, contiguous empire. So, the world is, is seemingly a messed up place right now. How old is the Shah now? 65. He might even have time for uh, Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do to increase this guy's opinion of me. Oh, wait, there is. I hold too many duchies. So let's give some random lowly baron can't. But sure, you can have... Oh. Yes. There we go. Now people are less upset with me. Apparently I can't increase this anymore. Can we even just brute force smash our way through this? Yes, we can. All right, let's see who doesn't have a lot of a lot of land. It's this guy. Sure, you can have 
the new territory we took. What was it? There you go. Be happy. Apparently Bender is like, oh, I want to, you know, run my own country. I want to run my own, you know, province. And I had to tell him no. He's not ready. Also, I don't have a province to give him, so. Sad face. So yeah, let's just wait for these vassals to calm down. And then I think we'll launch our war against the Byzantine Empire. Then it will have been a good series, or it will have been a good, uh, good let's play. We'll have conquered a lot of land, excuse me, and, uh, yeah, put down a lot of rebellions and kicked a lot of ass. Looks like a lot of these places are unfortunately losing the war for independence. But they will spring back up. There is no stopping them. Bam. Bam. Will we even have time? to really utilize these provinces that we just conquered. I don't even think we'll have much time to actually, you know, even be able to use the provinces we just took. Basically, we'll have the time to, uh, you know, assuming it ends in uh, 1315, I believe is the end date for the game. But if that's the case, then yeah, we won't even have time to utilize any of these new provinces. Yeah, but the religious penalties in Tunisia will dissolve in about a couple months, so that'll be convenient. The amount of men we can raise is absurd, 90,000. We worked hard to get here. We built ourselves up from a tiny little uh, crappy kingdom. And now we're a huge massive empire that is like twice the size of any other ones. And holds random colonial possessions. Because, you know, we're cool like that, I guess. There we go. Now Tunisia will. Start producing men for us. Oh no. going on? Alright, 
Alright, so I just gotta wait for the Duke of Kiev to calm down. But he's a he's a powerful he's a powerful duke. One of the most powerful. Yeah. What is our relationship? We're still pretty good anyway. I was going to say, the Lapish culture is legitimately dead, but nope, they still have, like, one province. But Russian culture is alive and well. Even, like, <laughs> random parts of Italy are Russian. It's great. Most of Russia is now Russian. Remember when we had all kinds of weird, crazy cultural mixes here? Now it's all just one homogenized mass. We still have the, the Komi guys, whoever they are. And a little bit of Turkish guys living with us. And we've also got some uh, other cultures. In our midst, but... They shall soon become assimilated. How are my children doing? Chives has a grandson, and yeah, Lamrevolt has a granddaughter. Well, the the dynasty will carry on for many years yet. Yep, Chelsea has a son, married to some random German guy. Good times. If all these territories wanted to declare independence, they definitely could against the Mongolians. Because they have only a handful of you know, territory that they actually own. Alright, well let's skip a bit ahead. Alright, so I guess this actually will be probably the Shah's final act, because he's almost 70. And we just need to reclaim our territory. Well, we can only raise 100,000 troops. I, I don't think we'll be able to do it. Alright, so... Now we've got to even break down our like zones of mobilization even more. The hunger or the Mongolians were actually able to repacify Hungary. I don't know how long that'll last, but now I'm not so much worried about it because I think we'll be able to defeat them, especially in a uh, defensive war, fairly easily. Well, I'll 
I'll just leave my men here and we'll see how the Byzantines react. Oh no! I'll just send 12,000 men to go pacify that, rebe that little rebellion. ships. Okay, where's Bender? I'll go give him a, uh, now. Uh, I can give him a land, or a piece of land. Grant. You can have... Sure. That's what you can have. Well, my wife is dead, but it's way too late to actually get a new one. Actually, you know, I don't even... I forgot that... Byzantines are actually bordering us, so yeah, we can just attack them from there. Just gonna attack them in Africa. We'll lose some men to attrition. It's okay. It doesn't even matter. And just go blunder off into uh, into the Byzantine Empire and go kill somebody. Oh no! More useless peasant revolts. Okay, well, they were able to take one of my territories, and there's nothing I can do about that. Or they're going to be able to take one of my territories. But I'm fairly certain we'll be able to take much, much more of theirs. Landing parties. But we'll still get what we came for. Hmm, they actually have more men than I gave them credit for. Maybe I should uh, be a little less arrogant.
I mean, we literally do have wave after wave of men. Okay, well, we're not going to be able to win that war, or that win that fight. get these guys. Okay, well, we're actually uh, not doing as well as I would have hoped. Well, we're losing way more men than I thought we were going to, but it doesn't matter because reinforcements are coming in much faster than we're losing men. Oh, I still have one wave that I get to send against them. No, you can't die now. You have to live just for a little bit longer, Shaw. You just just squeeze the tiniest bit of life out of you. Oh good, he's alive. It's it's all good. He's gonna make it. Well, we'll just we're just gonna go and, and once we uh take our lost land. We're just going to go and siege the capital, which uh, is generally thought to be impossible, but... Oh, okay, never mind. We won't even need to, because they're going to give up. gonna give that title to the new title to Chives so we'll regain it when the Shaw dies oh, this guy again Man, this guy just doesn't no matter how much I bribe him there's just no getting rid of him yeah, I don't care if we are going to lose half our troops in disbanding. I mean, it's just... Well, there we go.
Maybe I should let some people out of my dungeon. How many people do I have in there, even? Uh. Oh, no. Nah, I'll just let them all rot. We don't get a lot of levies from the north. Oh man, we got three guys. They gave me three men to send into battle. And don't, you know, break the bank or anything. Had I have him in the in the plot. Whatever. Well, if I can't end the plot, I'll just throw him in jail. Yeah, I don't think there's much more much more for us to do right now at least. I mean, most of the things I could do generally involve picking on the Mongols some more. Cuz now they have no hope in hell in ever defeating us in any kind of open warfare. Are still in a rough way. Hey, the Shah is now but finally deemed as the Great. Now, any time for Chives to take over. Because, you know, he had a good reign, but it's, it's his due. Actually, I should take a wife just, just for shits and giggles. All right so I can ruin some. Yeah, let's take her. There we go. Have a 70-year-old man marry a 12-year-old girl. Yeah. I doubt he'll even make it to the point where they can be married. Oh man. I've just 
is sitting on uh, a crap ton of gold. We should, we should spend this on. Upgrading some of the crap we have. There we go. Yeah, I, I mean, I can't think of anything really to do. I don't want to start a war until the Shah dies because I don't want him to die in the middle of it. Wait, why are these, do I still have men raised? Oh, I did. Pissed off some people apparently. Oh well. They'll get over it. So, I think we're just gonna, we're just gonna have to be right back. Alright, the king is dead, long live the king. And, so yeah. Chives is now the ruler of the Russian Empire after the Shah dies at the age of 74. So, that will leave us in... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Yeah, stop it. Fuck. Fucking shit. There we go. Okay. Anyway. We're gonna have to have, of course, a good old fashioned war of secession on our hands. But it doesn't look like it'll be that bad. Oh, he's a uh, heretic. Which means that we'll be able to, of course, steal some of his titles when the time is right. So yeah, we'll, we'll have a... What ambition should we give him? Sure. I have a grand ambition to have a daughter. Yeah, it looks like we'll have to fight the war against Kiev. And, uh, yeah, we'll have to... Uh, we'll have to dish out, of course, some titles and some money. And hopefully try and minimize the amount of rebellions to... The, as you know little as possible apparently Baron Bender is really pissed off and there is an over a hundred percent chance that he will revolt so that's quite quite substantial however these are all conundrums we will have to deal with next time because for now I'm gonna have to end this let's play so I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been Joseph Friesman of Stalin, signing off for now, and I'll see you guys later.